Hello, thank you for joining us for this video. Today we're going to be covering how to set up your own Google Calendar integration. Now before setting up the integration, it's important to understand what this Google Calendar integration will do once it's set up with your brokerman system. What this integration does is pull over dates like listing date, expiration date, closing date, um, any custom date that you guys have in the system. Those can be added to your Google Calendar automatically without you having to manually enter them in yourself. Now to set up this integration, you log in to Brokerment as you normally would, navigate to Add-ons, scroll down until you see the Google Calendar button, and give it a click. Now that you're here, you're going to notice it says it's available for any plan so that you don't need to worry about whether you are on a simple start, a standard, or an enterprise. Go ahead, click Get Started. After you hit Get Started, it's going to bring up your Google account information. Click on the correct account you want to link it to. then click allow. This allows us to push information onto your calendar. We cannot delete or modify anything that's already on there. And now the connection is set. To double check to make sure it is connected properly, click on accounts and make sure your business name is appearing here. You can then click on the calendar accounts and make sure that the correct email address is right here. You can then click on Workflows, and the only template available to you is going to be this Keep Your Calendar Updated with Transaction Milestone Date Workflow. Go ahead, click on that, and then click Use This Template. Once you hit Use This Template, once again it's going to confirm the Broker Mint connection to the Google Calendar in, uh, connection. Click Save. And now before hitting play, you're going to want to make sure that you're the correct dates are going on to your calendar. You can click on this trigger button here and select which dates you want to have appear. So if you only care about closing date, great, you can turn off all of these other ones and now your closing dates will go onto your Google Calendar. You want to leave transactions to process as all. Add to your calendar. Now this is your choice. Most people do not want additional people to be receiving these Google Calendar uh, notifications. So you can go ahead and leave that as none. Then hit apply. This is the information that will populate onto your Google Calendar. Feel free to remove any of these that are not needed. Hit apply. And now you're ready to turn on the Google Calendar integration. Hit play and now the workflow is added, activated. You can set the time for the updates. The default is eight hours, but if you wanted to look for new transactions every, let's say, 30 minutes, you can do that as well. Now to navigate back to Brokerment, you would click on this home button right up here. And now you're back in Brokerment. Now if you ever needed to delete or modify this integration, just click add-ons, scroll down and click on the Google Calendar button, click configuration, and now you can click on this active workflow to remove it or modify it. If you're looking to just pause it, hit the toggle, if you know you're not going to be using it going forward, you can also delete it by clicking on the workflow itself and then hitting the trash can here. And if you want to modify the time or anything else like that, just hit the clock for time or hit the cog wheel to modify the dates that are going to be appearing on your calendar. Thank you very much for joining us for this meeting. I, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We appreciate your business and have a great rest of your day.